Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to share a get well card that I've made for my brother. And I also wanted to thank you all who have been praying for him and for my family as we go through dealing with his kidney disease. I really appreciate it from the center of my heart. Anyway, I really enjoyed making this card for him. I hope you enjoy the process video that follows. Darker into the lighter area. I'm making his cheeks a little rosier using spun sugar. To get rid of the harsh edges, I'm taking the water brush and just blending it out again. For the little doctor's coat and the pale parts of the spotted puppy, I am using antique linen and just putting the marker down where there would be shadows on the under part of the belly of the dog, the under parts of the ears, kind of where the stethoscope is on top of the puppy and kind of in the wrinkles of the lab coat. For the little puppy's nose, I used black soot. I used the fine point side of the marker. And then for the little boy's hair, I switched over to the brush side. And I tried to leave a kind of middle highlight area. And when I blended it out with my water brush, I did find that it got a little bit muddy or not as sharp as I would like hair to look. So I end up fixing that later using the fine point side of the marker. For the little puppy spots, I used Vintage Photo and I struggled with getting it dark enough. So I come back to this later after I let it dry for a little bit. But you'll see, it's a little faint there. Then I moved on to the little boy's shoes and I wanted to carry through the black of his hair. So I just used more black soot and just touched the marker tip to the edges of the shoes under the little Velcro strap. Um, and you'll see, once you touch the ink with the water from the water brush, it blends really nicely. That's why I think watercoloring is such a forgiving medium. So here you can see I'm going back in with the brown with vintage photo to darken up the spots and I'm blending it out with my water brush. Oh, there's too much water so I had to dab it up with a Kleenex but it lightened it so much doing that that I had to go back in again with the vintage photo. But it's really forgiving and if you're using watercolor paper like I am here, um, it doesn't pill or weaken the paper structure too much. Here you can see me putting back in kind of strands into the little boy's hair and that's with the fine tip side of the black soot marker and I really like the look of that. It gives a much more sharp, clean, crisp look to his hair and puts back in those little fine details that hair would normally have. I wanted to add a metallic feeling to all of the medical tools he's got so I used a jelly roll pen in metallic silver and then added kind of sheer more sheer silver with clear star so there's two jelly roll pens that I use there now I didn't want the little boy and dog to look like they were just floating so I drew in a floor using the same lighter blue and tumbled glass and then I just brushed it out, blended it out with my water brush, just making sure that I have a crisp line at the top. You'll see me flipping the paper there just to get the wash done softly. Now you're seeing me put adhesive on the card base rather than on the image. And that's because the image still has glossy accents on all of the medical devices and the eyes and the little puppy nose and the glossy accents hadn't dried yet, but I was anxious to finish up the card. Um, I also missed the footage somewhere of uh, my stamping out this extra little prescription bottle that I stamped out and colored up and glossy accented. So I fussy cut that out and added that just under the little boy's hand there. And that's the finished card. I hope you enjoyed this process video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful crafty day.